let's do one more here and then we'll give you uh, some time to plug your stuff here jordan um how close are we to a structural density that would support elon's electric uh, vtol so uh vehicle takeoff or landing uh any thoughts around that it depends on what your expectations of the vtol are if you're looking for something local or regional then I think we're like Tesla has the ability to do something like Ooh. that right now. It's when you get into the long range, it's 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 different. But my viewpoint was that Tesla should start developing a VTOL in the mid 2020s. And uh, it's going to take a long time to get it through all the regulatory hurdles. And then we might see like a, you know, a release, you know, in the early 2030s and maybe really hit scale in the mid 2030s uh, because there's a whole lot of regulatory hoops and that's the point where Tesla uh, will have potentially have spare battery cells and battery cells of the right energy density to make it really make it worthwhile. We're going down a rabbit hole now, but I, I don't think they'll <laughs> stop. If they, if they do a VTOL, it's not going to make sense to stop at the VTOL. I think they're going to redo the entire airline industry to where you have point to point connections rather than hub and spoke. And it's yeah. going to completely change like, all right, do we need all this security and all this other bullshit if we're just using these things like buses from point to point and they only carry like 10 people or something like that? Can we sidestep all those regulations and bring us back to a flying experience that's like, you know, a much less painful? Because Flying is a fucking bitch. It is, dude. <laughs> I've, I think, I've uh, been dying to ask this question to Chuck Cook because he's a he's a pilot and he's a I think a director for JetBlue. I I, I believe he's he's like a pretty high high ranking person in one of the airlines, and like I've been trying to get his thoughts around this, like because the airline industry seems so ripe for disruption, like so ripe for disruption that this could very well happen here in the next five to ten years. We're going to start seeing a shift. Uh, from from an airline perspective, uh, Ishan, I know you had so, uh, a few thoughts think, as well, but I think SpaceX is taking going to take care of intercontinental travel and subcontinental. Uh, I, I I think that this hub and spoke model will sort of work um, with you know SpaceX doing the long hop, this being potentially an EV tall. But I actually had a follow up question. Do you think solid state is on a cost decline curve fast enough to actually support like probably medium range EVTOL applications, let's say five years down the line. Seven years. I don't see solid state being having significant advantages over uh, regular lithium ion for a long time, at least in the foreseeable future. We have solid state batteries right now, mm -hmm. but they perform exactly the same as lithium ion batteries. They're not delivering what they said they're going to deliver. Because as soon as you start, you know, actually manufacturing something, you realize, oh, we actually need to build in some safety buffer here or there or uh, manufacturing tolerances, et cetera. And, uh, and sorry about my outburst earlier on airlines, but it's just a passion. <laughs> no, I, love it. I love like, it. I yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's because I had to, I used to fly back and forth between New Zealand and the U.S. every year. And there's certain points where it's just, especially during COVID, it was so stressful. Uh, I actually got to the point where I chartered a private plane from Chicago uh, to uh, near my hometown uh, just so I could make sure that I got back home in a reasonable time. It cost like, I don't know, like, you know, 900 bucks, something like that. So, Crazy. yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So much, so much low hanging fruit there that with a new yeah. technology, like it's mm -hmm. completely just, you know, rewire mm -hmm. how we've thought about this whole thing. So, yeah. Uh, damn. Man, I, I wish we could go longer. I actually have, I have to go to Yasha's channel here because he's got me at uh, uh, 3 o'clock Eastern. But uh, uh, Jordan, you're always welcome back, my friend, at any point, any time. You're always back. You're welcome to come uh, discuss anything you'd like with with myself or the panel or the community or whatever. Ishan, Hans, Rodman, thank you very much for being part of the channel. Everybody in the comments section, thank you all very much for being part of the discussion. We have to continue this Evital discussion here because this is like... It's mind blowing, and I think it's it's Next probably level. very close. Next level. So uh, Jordan and we'll Chuck you. Cook. Yeah, I would love to have you and Chuck Cook in the same panel and discuss that because I would I would love to hear uh, your thoughts around that. But 